While we're waiting for that, you know what you can do easily? You can download our Storm Shield app. It is a live radar that you can simply get either from your tablet, from your phone, and it's only $3 to download. The storms come as Milwaukee is dealing with the hottest stretch of weather we've had this year. Humidity added to the heat today for a very dangerous combination. Let's get to Jonah Kaplan who talked with people who have no choice but to work outside about their strategies for getting through a heat wave. Jonah. Yeah, Stephen Shannon. I mean, thank God the clouds have kind of blocked the sun, which reduces the heat index. But the humidity, well, it's still a lot, especially for people working in construction. They have to wear long pants. They have to wear steel toed boots. Again, they say the humidity just weighs so heavily on them. And the water, drinking water, that's only one part of staying healthy. Sunshine might beat the rain on most days, but for Darren Habermill's crew of electricians, the rain would be quite a relief. Working in the wintertime, you can layer, and so if you're warm, you can take stuff off. But when it's just this hot out and it's this humid, the humidity is really what, what sucks the energy out of you. Meteorologists explain humidity like this. If the atmosphere is a sponge, the humidity is how much water the sponge holds until it drips. When the air reaches 100% relative humidity, you have liquid water, which leads to rain or snow. The warmer it is outside, though, the stronger the sponge. The atmosphere can hold a lot more water. That's why today it almost feels like you're swimming through the air. When you sweat, not only is it the, the water that comes out of your body, but you sweat the salts and, elect and, and other minerals and stuff that come out of your skin. And so by eating, that's what we're making sure is we're replacing that. But while these crews sweat because of their work, there are plenty of people who sweat because they're working out. Laura Ram is a licensed athletic trainer at Cudahy High School. She says in this heat and humidity, there's no such thing as a good sweat. Kind of heavier on the body, it doesn't evaporate, so your body has a harder time cooling itself. So now your body is working harder and harder and harder to try to find ways to cool down. Ram says a heat index of 105 is her red line. And because today's rain lowered today's temps, she allowed football minicamp to continue outdoors with water breaks every 15 minutes. Those warning signs when you're working out in heat like this, dizziness, cramps. The athletic trainers we spoke with say, again, this is not a good sweat, and this is not the kind of stamina you want to build. We are live here in Milwaukee. Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. Get yourself a cold drink, Jonah. Thanks so much.